Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Bella. And for the ones that are new, welcome. But if you're returning, welcome back to um, this amazing community family that we got going on here. I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year. I know I am so late. I'm like almost three weeks late. Hope your new year is starting off great. I know mine is somewhat, but there's a good chance that I have COVID. <laughs> Just typical flu symptoms, up until two days ago, I lost my ability to taste and smell. And it's been so sad with eating food because I love to eat, like, you know, who doesn't love to eat food, right? But I've heard a lot of people tell me to char up some oranges and literally mix it with brown sugar and apparently that's supposed to work. So we will see and I will keep you guys updated. So this video is going to be on teaching the ones who don't know on how to drive a manual. Also. I dyed my hair black. I don't remember if the last time you guys saw me, my hair was black. I don't remember, but yeah, so I did it and I started school again. I didn't know what I wanted to do um, with school. I did for a good minute, but I lost track. I was uninterested in going into like therapy, like occupational therapy specifically, but the reason I got into it into the first place was because of my accident. I didn't want to finish a degree that it was just going to be no use and I didn't want to go into a career that was just going to wake up every day unhappy about it. So yeah, took a break, but now we are back on track. I am heavily interested in learning how social media works, the marketing, the analytics, all of that type of stuff and that's exactly what I'm going to school for. I'm going to school for to major in mass communications that way i can use it to still be able to be hands-on with editing and recording and all that kind of stuff while also being able to manage hopefully my own team with my own brand in the future and uh yeah so we're on track <laughs> i feel like being into cars definitely brought out something that was already inside me i already knew that i liked doing photography and all that kind of stuff but because I do social media around it, like I said, it just definitely brought my interest like up to here. A lot of people helped influence me on that. For those people, thank you. I'm gonna try to figure out a spot where I can show you guys just a little bit. Just the basics. I'm not only gonna be teaching the basics. I'm not gonna teach you guys on how to downshift. I'm not gonna teach you guys on how to like drive on a hill. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. This whole downshifting thing, that might just be a separate video because I'm still learning myself. Yeah. Boy, this lighting is amazing. <laughs> okay, so I came to a parking garage. I love it here. I love it. So this is where I'm gonna show you how to drive a manual. So, step one, have a manual. Don't start squeaking on me, please. And then, you should be good. If I were you, I would get a feel for the clutch that you have in the car because obviously all clutches are different. For example, mine, I wouldn't say it's like heavy heavy or just feels like tough but it's what I'm used to compared to like the other clutches that I felt but when you finally are actually driving the car you're also going to have to figure out where your engagement point is meaning where pretty much the car is like okay this is where I'm going to be okay to start moving if you don't know what stalling is it's pretty much when you release the clutch either too fast or you just didn't do it properly and the car just turns off clutch in car turns on like normal once it's on you can go ahead and let go of the clutch now that the car is on this is where i personally would start to get a feel for your clutch and just to see where just to get a feel on how it is and yeah and then once you feel kind of comfortable with you know turning the car on and off obviously when you turn the car off you do not have to press the clutch obviously feel for the your dildo thing <laughs> make sure it's in neutral what you're gonna do next is you're gonna release the e-brake and obviously put your foot on the brake before doing that because if not you're gonna roll back so what i did before i started actually driving i kept my foot on the brake and actually just started practicing going into gear so that you can kind of like learn. I wish there was like a better view, but there isn't because I'm just so close. But um, still what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and push the clutch in and just go through the gear so that you get used to it and just kind of see how things are. Clutch is pressed all the way in and I'm just gonna go through the gear. So you have first, you have second going straight down. You have third, which is right next to first. Fourth, go straight down. 
fifth for me is up, right, and over. I do have a six, so it goes straight down. And then when I want to go into reverse, it's weird. I know the reverse for everyone's is different. Push down, all the way to the right, and down. So that's how I would get into my reverse. Now, back in neutral, you can go ahead and release the clutch. So after you do that a couple times, now it's time to start driving the car. Pretty much like the basics on just how to obviously turn your car on and off, um, getting a feel for your clutch just to kind of see where your engagement point is going to be. And you're going to figure that out when you're going through the gears. Now in an automatic car, obviously it would do this automatically. <laughs> when shifting, I normally shift like at 2,500. I know a lot of people do it at 300. I mean, 300, oh my God, 3,000. But that's when you know, like that's when your car is literally telling you, okay, I need to go into a higher gear. I mean, when I say the RPM, so when this goes up to like about here, it's like time to change into like another gear. Okay, so let me make sure that I'm not too far. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so what you're gonna do, my foot is on the brake right now, e-brake disengaged so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot in the clutch and you're gonna put it in first you're gonna let go of the brake this is such a bad view foot is on the brake clutch is in I'm putting it into first and so what I want to do I'm gonna go ahead and take my foot off the brake and slowly release the clutch and the car is gonna start moving as you have your clutch in, as you are letting go, you are pressing on the gas a little bit. That'll give you like that smooth transition without the car like, like without doing that. And so, and that's what we don't want. So slowly release the clutch. And the car is now moving. And now you can like completely let go of the clutch. I hope I'm explaining this like, in a good way if not i am so sorry like it's just i just sit very close to the wheel like the freaking view to see my feet is like very limited and i'm just trying to explain it as i go and i don't have a tripod either i'm not recording with my freaking camera like this is all just so wrong <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys how to come to a complete stop this person's in their car they're probably like what in the hell all right so to come to a complete stop what you're gonna do you're gonna take your foot off the gas and then you're gonna push the clutch and go into neutral. See, the car starts to jerk if you don't apply so much gas. Put off the gas clutch into neutral and you come to a stop. I tried and hopefully it's good enough for you guys to kind of understand how the foot works when trying to drive manual we hit 10k on Instagram it's a good milestone to hit so thank you to all of you too I do also have some things that I'm gonna be getting for the car pretty soon I'm gonna be getting some new tail lights next month also thinking about getting coilovers if you follow me on Instagram I'm always like updating you guys on everything about the car probably like the best way that you can reach out to me also don't forget to follow me on social media instagram at bq.bella and tiktok also thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one